A, what? That doesn't make sense. So good that it has to go. Yep, I've been doing a bit of man math to justify getting another new bike. And here are the results of my pondering. See, I've had the Trans Alp for nearly a year, about 10, 11 months. And in that time, it's got me completely hooked on the adventure bike thing. I totally get why they're so popular. They're not really the best lookers, but they're just so comfortable and versatile that I'll forgive that. I've done nearly 6,000 kilometers on my Trans Alp and enjoyed every minute. Problem is that I like the concept of the do-it-all adventure bike so much now that over the same period, I've hardly ridden my Speed Twin 1200 at all. Total distance covered between the last two annual services, for example, was just 600 kilometers or less than 400 miles. I find it more and more difficult to find a ride where the Triumph would be preferable to the Honda. And so invariably, I end up taking the Trans Alp. Now, of course, it doesn't have the speed super beefy engine that I absolutely love. It's one of the most intoxicating engines I've experienced on any bike, and that includes the Rocket. And it doesn't give me the same pride of ownership as the Speed Twin, but the Trans Alp is so much easier to ride. It's more comfortable, there's better wind protection, it's more economical, has greater range. I can cover it with luggage without ruining the looks, it can go off-road. Mrs. RM is more comfortable. The Speed Twin has become what I think is referred to as an orbital bike, one that I take out of the garage once a month and drive around in a loop for an hour to lubricate the mechanicals. Maybe I'm just getting lazy in my old age, but while the Speed Twin undeniably offers all the thrills and spells any enthusiast could possibly want, it is hard work. There's no time to relax when you've got this much torque under the hair trigger throttle and I just found that I was beginning to enjoy the bike less and less. Next there's the financial aspect. The Speed Twin 1200 costs about €14,500 and the Trans Alp is about ten and a half. so a total outlay, a total value of about €25,000. Except that at no point am I actually getting that €25,000 motorbike feeling, except maybe looking at the boat in the garage. Because of course I can only ever ride one at a time. The other half of my money is always back in the garage, if, that's makes, if that makes sense. And finally, there's the responsibility, the burden of running five vehicles. Yep, we've got two motorbikes, a scooter, Mrs. RM's car and a van. I'm constantly having to think about road tax, uh, insurance, servicing, washing, keeping fuel in the tanks and air in the tyres. There's always one vehicle that needs attention. So with all that said, I've decided to downsize and as much as it pains me to get rid of the perfectly competent Trans Alp and my beautiful Speed Twin, which I know I've always said I would keep forever, I've decided to sell both and use the money to buy one nice adventure motorcycle with the tubeless tyres, cruise control, fuel range and ambient temperature display that the Trans Alp doesn't have and similar-ish power figures to the Speed Twin. I did actually collect it this morning, but I'll keep you in suspense for a few more days. By all means, feel free to have a guess uh, in the comments section. The Speed Twin has already found a new home, but if you happen to be interested in my well cared for and very highly specced Trans Alp 750 with just under 6,000 kilometers on the clock, I'll put a link to the for sale ad in the description. And as always, thanks for watching.